Hello YouTubers, especially all you saltwater fishing guys. Have you ever seen a product called the Chum Buddy? I looked at it and thought who in their right mind would spend $70 for a piece of plastic that has a collar on top and a cover on the bottom and a plunger to chew up your bait. That way you have chum. Next to my house, they're building a new place and they've been throwing away pieces of four inch PVC. So I found about a eight foot section of it and decided that I'm going to make my own chum buddy out of my own products that I have here at the house. I'm going to show you the final product and how I assemble it and hopefully it'll save you some money. The one that I'm going to show you, I have two different variations of the same setup. So I'm going to show you the one that costs a little bit more than the other. And then for those of you that are looking for really bare bones, I don't have more than $10 in the whole thing. So this is the first half of the chum tube setup that I made. The four inch pipe I cut down into the length I wanted and I took a drill bit and drilled 16 holes in the bottom. I believe they're quarter inch holes and when you mash the, the bait and grind it up, it seeps out those holes and that's what draws your fish. I just used a piece of regular string that I had laying around the house and I went to Home Depot and bought some of these OD caps. This one, I drilled a hole with a hole saw so that I had my plunger. But if I turn it over, I'll show you the bottom. It's just a flat cap. OD makes it. And they sell it at Home Depot in the section where they have the PVC parts. It costs a dollar a piece. So, so far, just in this section alone, I have all of $2 in it. For my bait grinder, I came up with two different ideas. This one being the first one I did. I took my wife's meat pulverizer that they sell on Amazon for $5 and I stuffed it up inside the tube and it comes to about here in length. And I drilled through the handle on two different sides and put stainless screws through it, which on the other side, I ground off the barbs so that I don't end up poking myself in the hand but the concept is pretty straightforward. If you take the tube off the top, throw your handle in here, and you stuff your cap back on top, and you grind away, and your bait comes out in bits and pieces in the bottom. Now I'll show you variation two. So this would be variation number two. Use the same length of PVC with some adapters, and then I used a adapter that goes to a larger piece of PVC because this lip here is a lot thicker so that I could cut serrated edges into it and it won't bust off while I'm trying to grind up my bait. Same concept, just a slightly different variation. I made two of these chum tubes and I believe all in all between the four caps, the tube I had, the rope I already had, the pipe I already had, and these adapters I already had, and that one grinding tool for five dollars from amazon i've got all of ten dollars in two tubes and i'm all set up to do whatever i want as far as chewing up bait so as you can see for about ten dollars you can build your own chum tubes and save yourself about sixty dollars on two tubes and if you're thrifty like i am you figure out ways of making that dollar stretch a little more so that you can do your motor service or work on electronics and do upgrades on your boat, buy more fishing gear, things like that. So enjoy, hope this helps you.